What is up, my packaholics? Welcome back inside the shack. This is Sean. We are all packaholics, and uh, today is no different. 2022 Panini Racing Silver Packs from the Mint Collective. But before we jump into that, please give it, make sure to subscribe, comment, like this video, please. We appreciate the help. And as as always, don't forget to smash that bell so that you can hear when we have new videos coming out. Also, we would love to see you over on our uh, social channels, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Pack Shack Cards, where we're posting stuff, rips, different things just about every day, sometimes multiple times a day. And uh, we enjoy bringing you this content. And please comment, let us know what we can do different. If there's anything new that you'd like to see that you're not seeing, some fun, unique pack pack openings that uh, maybe you're not seeing today, some obscure set, you know, 83 Donruss All-Star Jumbo cards, whatever, whatever it might be, let us know. If we don't have it, we'll track it down. We love to rip new and unique things, and uh, we want to bring you that content. But uh, until then, let's uh, take a quick time out as we reset the desk and let's go okay so 2022 panini racing silver packs from the mint collective Honestly, I don't know what to expect out of these. Um, I don't know, is it NASCAR? Is it Formula One? Is it what? I don't I don't know. And frankly, outside of a little bit of NASCAR, I don't know a lot about what's going on in the world of racing these days. So please, if you see anything that I miss or anything that I should be aware of that I that you see in these packs, please leave us a comment, drop us a comment down below. Let us know so that we can... Uh, learn from that because we're here to learn from each other and uh let's see what we get so we'll uh start with we'll just start down the line panini's uh booth at the mint collective was really cool they did have a, a nascar there uh they also had um, a booth to get a digital card of yourself made so if you check out uh, the pack shack cards instagram and uh, tiktok you will see uh, our cards, and uh, it was pretty cool. Um, so we got a Casey Kane, Kyle Bush, Alex Bowman, and Denny Hamlin Race Kings. So it must be like Diamond Kings. Very cool looking cards. Again, if you know if you see if, if there's something about these cards that I'm missing, um, please let me know in the comments below. We'd love to uh, be able to share that information with uh, anybody else that maybe is not as proficient in, in racing as uh, as others may be, um, especially as people are ripping these same exact packs that they got at the Mint Collective as well that maybe they are learning from the first for the first time. But uh, Dale Jarrett. Got Ryan Blaney, Eric Almarola, and Ty Dillon. Man, just really cool looking cards. So we got uh, a couple of different designs here. We got the Race Kings. Just kind of retro looking ones. So let's wrap. Let's go to the next one. Yeah, I used to, you know. My background is in the beverage industry. I worked for Coca-Cola for uh, almost 14 years, and during my time there, spent a lot of time watching racing. You know, I and that was you know 10 years ago. Um, so when I go and watch a race now, the occasional race I watch now, it's like I don't know half the guys that are in the in there anymore because my everybody's that I used to watch is now retired. So, or they're coming back, but. Uh, you know, some of these guys I know, Casey Kane, you know, Kurt Busch, Bubba Wallace, Austin Dillon, 
Cole Custer. The, I, mean, I don't know who that is. Still, you know, cool cards. You know, I, I love I love the work that Panini does. Um, you know, they really put out a quality product, and uh, you know, it's it's interesting to see what they come up with. You know, the amount of different sets that they have for some of these some of these um, properties, whether it's basketball or football or um, Tyler Reddick. Oh. The man himself, Richard Petty. Card number two. Does that mean that Dale is number one? We got Kyle Larson and Jeff Burton. Another guy I used to see a lot when I was back in my Coke days because he was a Coke driver. Again, you know, just a sharp card, man. It's just super eye-catching, you know. When you see it, you know you know who made it. I mean, I remember there was a time where if you got a card like this, you know, it was probably a super short printed card, you know, and and now it's like the standard. Um, you know, it's really cool. It's cool how the, the the industry has evolved. Got Brittany Zamora, Daniel Suarez. William Byron and the what they call him the Brad or something like that Kyle Bush and last but not least as we rip open this final pack uh, just a quick reminder to hit that subscribe button and mash that bell we have a fun video that we're going to be doing um, coming up next that will be, I think we're gonna do, let's say it was like 20, 20 or 25 different packs from kind of the early to late 90s, maybe even 2000. The early days of, of uh, packs with autographs. And that's what we're searching for. We're looking for hopefully one of those elusive autographs. Cause you think nowadays, you know, you have autographs from all these different players, different you know different levels of of uh of uh scarcity and you know back in you know early 90s you had one guy one card it was you know might be a couple thousand might be a few hundred and then as time went on they added more people they added more options um but we're gonna see what we can find you know we've been we've been posting daily videos of uh kind of a, a preview of some of those packs and uh we're going to be doing a big, I think it's 25 pack rip all at once. Hopefully we can get a, get an auto, whether it's a Nolan Ryan, a Hank Aaron, a Mike Schmidt, a Cal Ripken, a Tom Glavin, you know, any number of those guys that had autograph cards in those early days. So make sure to subscribe so you can check out that video and uh, we'll obviously be, you know, posting on our social as well, letting you know that it's up, but uh, we really think it'll be a fun video. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that we pull one. So, last pack here. The man, Jeff Gordon. Jimmy. Brad Keselowski. And Mark Martin. Again, very cool cards. Very cool experience being out at the Mint Collective and seeing the Panini booth and all of their, all of their product. Um, seeing some of their... Um, authenticated um, memorabilia as well and being able to take a picture with the panini race car but that's it for us inside the pack shack as always i'm sean we are all packaholics inside the pack shack thanks for stopping in we'll see you next time